Good morning and welcome to Tuesday the 11th of June 2024 to join with me, Reverend Andrew, for this recorded service of morning prayer. Our readings today are Psalm 101 and part of Acts of the Apostles, Chapter 4. As usual, both readings will appear screen share through the course of this recording. So we turn to morning prayer. And Lord, open our lips and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, sovereign God, creator of all. To be glory and praise forever. You founded the earth in the beginning, and the heavens are the work of your hands. In the fullness of time you made us in your image, and in these last days you have spoken to us in your Son, Jesus Christ, the Word made flesh. As we rejoice in the gift of your presence among us, let the light of your love always shine in our hearts, your Spirit ever renew our lives, and your praises ever be on our lips. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Psalm 101 and responses, Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. I will sing of faithfulness and justice. To you, O Lord, will I sing. Let me be wise in the way that is perfect. When will you come to me? I will walk with purity of heart within the walls of my house. I will not set before my eyes the counsel that is evil. I abhor the deeds of unfaithfulness. They shall not cling to me. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. A crooked heart shall depart from me. I will not know a wicked person, one who slanders a neighbour in secret. I will quickly put to silence. My haughty eyes and an arrogant heart, I will not endure. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. My eyes are upon the faithful in the land, that they may dwell with me. One who walks in the way that is pure shall be my servant. There shall not dwell in my house one that practices deceits, one who utters falsehood, shall not continue in my sight. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Morning by morning will I put to silence all the wicked in the land, to cut off from the city of the Lord all those who practice evil. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. A prayer. Keep us, O Lord, in purity of heart and faithfulness to your commands, that your servants may walk before you in the way that is perfect, through Jesus Christ our Lord. And... Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, shall be for ever. Amen. Our reading now is from Acts of the Apostles, chapter 4, verses 32 to the end. Now the whole group of those who believed were of one heart and soul, and no one claimed private ownership of any possessions, but everything they owned was held in common. With great power, the apostles gave their testimony to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great grace was upon them all. There was not a needy person among them, for as many as owned lands or houses sold them and bought the proceeds that what was sold. They laid it at the apostles' feet, and it was distributed to each as any had need. There was a Levite, a native of Cyprus, Joseph, to whom the apostles gave the name Barnabas which means son of encouragement. He sold a field that belonged to him, then bought them for money and laid it at the apostles' feet. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, today you will have noticed if you follow these readings weekly that we've taken a bit of a break from um, the main course of the readings these last few weeks because today the church remembers this chap Barnabas, as we've just heard about there in the, in the Acts of the Apostles reading of St. Barnabas. I first came across Barnabas at um, an establishment uh, where I worked uh, in my active ministry years. Uh, the chapel there was dedicated to St. Barnabas. And I was curious to know why this was so. And then when I discovered what uh, uh, was behind the name Barnabas, son of encouragement, I could quickly see why, because the institution I worked in uh, the chapel there was indeed very much a place where we would try to encourage people uh, in their understanding and growth in faith. Barnabas, son of encouragement. 
he's remembered throughout the Acts of the Apostles. It's only a place where he appears. A number of references there to him uh, as a major encourager to St. Paul. He was the one, another text says somewhere else, who came to Paul, came to find him, came to seek him out in Tarsus shortly after his conversion and those first uh, years or, or months rather or after his conversion to seek Paul out and to take him to the apostles in Jerusalem, to the what we call the council in Jerusalem in New Testament times, uh, to present him to the apostles there. Naturally, who are a little bit um, holding back, a bit unsure, uncertain about this Paul, who is suddenly now uh, now promoting Christ rather than uh, against him. Barnabas introduced um, uh, Paul to the apostles. Barnabas had faith in him, had support towards him, uh, and believed in Paul. And it's a good job he did, because as we know from history, Paul went on then to develop his ministry and become a major evangelist uh, for which uh, we are really grateful to him uh, for being of the faith in our world today. But Barnabas, an encourager, and really all he does say is he's copying Jesus Christ's example, because Jesus is the ultimate enabler and encourager to us. Jesus, who went all the way to a cruel death on a cross uh, to enable and encourage us in our journeys, when we get into struggles and all sorts of situations, on the cross there, as we know, he overcame the ultimate enemy, sin in all its shapes and forms and sizes. Jesus was there to enable and encourage us in our journey and to give us that new life of resurrection that we celebrate, of course, in our Christian faith. So we give thanks today for Barnabas uh, as the example uh, of an encourager and ultimately, of course, of Jesus uh, for God's uh, example and inspiration um, and uh, instrument of enablement to us in our journeys of faith. Thanks be to God. Let's move on now to the words of the Benedictus. I'll go back to screen share for us. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free, and raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David, through his holy prophets God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors, and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, and you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. And so we turn our attention at a time of prayer. Let us pray. So first of all, we pray, dear Lord, for our world leaders, that they will be encouraged and enabled in their search for peace, particularly in the situations in our world where there is war and conflict, in the Middle East and in Eastern Europe particularly. We pray, Lord, that you will inspire them by your Holy Spirit to persevere on ways to find peace and an end to the conflicts that we see uh, and results that we see of on our screens every day. And dear Lord, we pray too for our nation as we are at a time of preparation for a general election. We pray, dear Lord, that you will encourage and enable all those who seek political office uh, to speak the truth with integrity and reality. And enable us, dear Lord, to make the choice that we feel is right. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. We pray for those who are sick and suffering, that they will be encouraged by the uh, acts and works of faith shown to us by the Lord Jesus. Heavenly Father, we bring to you those whom we know who are sick, who are suffering, all those who are experiencing deep anxiety and worry, those who are depressed, 
those Lord who are awaiting um, test results and uh, procedures, operations, etc. Lord, enable and encourage them, we pray, through the warm, embracing presence of you, most Lord Jesus, around their lives at this time. And similarly, those who we know who may be bereaved, who've lost their loved ones, or whose passing um, is remembered at this time, or holds so strongly in their lives and their minds still. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. And we pray, Father God, for ourselves. We pray that you would enable us and encourage us through your Holy Spirit as we go into this day to the tasks that we have set, that are set before us, for the decisions we have to make and the course of actions to follow through. Yes, Lord, we pray, be our enabler and encourager to see our way through. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. The Collect for St. Barnabas Day. The screen share it for us. Bountiful God, giver of all gifts, you poured your spirit upon your servant Barnabas and gave him grace to encourage others. Help us by his example to be generous in our judgments and unselfish in our service. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And so to the words of the conclusion. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for sharing with me. I pray indeed you'll have a good day ahead of you. And I look forward to being with you this time next week. Every blessing now. Goodbye.